Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video uh, explaining a, a, a method that I have kind of come up with to alleviate um, Achilles inflammation and pain that you may be experiencing from um, any ultra event that you've done, such as running a marathon or uh, riding your bicycle long ways. So a couple weeks ago, I did a long ultra event on my bike. And the first day of the event, I uh, started having some major uh, Achilles issues on both legs. Probably some of that was due to um, excessive strain that my body was not quite ready for with a, having a heavy bike and also um, standing up, getting out of the saddle quite a bit. Um, but anyway, I pushed through for the next three days and ended up taking a lot of medicine. Um, had to take a lot of ibuprofen and Tylenol, which is not ideal. And it's been three weeks since the race and I've finally um, gotten the swelling to go down, got the pain to go away. And uh, it's probably gonna take a while still yet before I can really get on the bike and push it. But I was looking at some ways to massage your Achilles tendon uh, to not only prevent or, or get rid of tendonitis, but also prevent it. And also tendinosis, which tendinosis is a condition where the sheath that goes around your Achilles tendon becomes damaged and tears. And then your tendon actually begins to rub muscle tissue, um, lesions form. And if these aren't dealt with, the problem just is always there. So you need to massage your Achilles tendon to break up these lesions and to break up the scar tissue so that it can heal and properly move in that sheath again. So looking here at my leg and my Achilles tendon here, the swelling has gone down. This, this was a really big knot, but the doctors will tell you to massage this with two fingers uh, up and down or in a twisting motion like this, okay? And this is fine. They want you to do this three to five minutes a day or may, three to five minutes a session, maybe three times a day. And uh, <clears throat> it's fine, you can do that. But I found a, a way that's better because this will wear your hand out. And if you have a really swollen Achilles like I had, it's hard to get that deep tissue massage that you need. So this is the method that I've come up with. It's super simple. Um, and you can imagine this um, dumbbell as a roller and what you're going to do if my finger is the Achilles tendon I want it to be in this groove and I want to roll it like this okay uh, I'm going to put a, a leg on both sides and I can roll my legs and what that's going to do is it's going to apply pressure to the Achilles and also I can roll one way and the other way, and it's gonna kind of give that same motion as if you were doing your fingers like this on the tendon. And I'm just gonna roll just like this. Now, my butt is on the ground. If I want to put my hands on the ground and lift my butt up, I can apply so much pressure as I roll on my tendons and it really, really works good. Now, if I wanna get that sideways motion, I do this as if I'm walking, okay? The other cool thing is with this type of uh, dumbbell setup, I can adjust this gap, make it wider so I can get more on the outside here or I can tighten this up, make it narrow so I can really pinch and get on the more of the outside of the tendon. I'm using, uh, these are just cheap three pound weights on this dumbbell setup. Now, another trick to this, that's pretty cool, is you can heat these up now, and then you're massaging your Achilles with warm material, and then you can also put them in the freezer, get them super cold, put them on here, and you can massage your Achilles um, with cold therapy as well. I hope you enjoyed that little um, tip if you have Achilles pain, a chronic Achilles pain, because if you're, you know, adventurous, you like to go out and, and run and cycle, you're probably going to run into this at some point. 
and it's always good to have plenty of options in your toolbox on ways to fix the problem.